stand. Gentlemen, remove your caps. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we come to you today with thankful hearts. Thank you for allowing us to gather here today and recognize the 2021 Bevel State graduates. Thank you for protecting and guiding us to this point. Lord, please inspire the graduates to put to good use all the knowledge, skills, and life lessons gained through our education. Thank you for the teachers, faculty, and staff here at Bubble State. Most of all, Lord, thank you for sending your son to die for us that we may have eternal life. As we face unknown challenges moving forward, help us to keep dear the greatest wisdom of all, that of knowing Jesus and the power of the cross. May we live passionately to honor and glorify your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 20. Oh, sorry, <laughs> candidates, please be seated. Let's start that over. <laughs> Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the 2021 Bevel State Community College FET Campus Graduation Ceremony. On behalf of the administration, faculty, and staff, and students, I would like to thank each of you for your presence here this afternoon. This annual event marks a milestone in the lives of so many of our students and their families. As we begin, I would like to introduce our stage guests for this afternoon. Guests, please stand and be recognized as I call your name. Dr. Joel Haygood, President. Al Moore, Dean of Workforce Solutions and Economic Development. Dr. Leslie Hartley, Vice President of Instruction and Student Services. Melissa Stowe, Dean of Students. Max Weaver, Dean of Student Success. It is our honor to have you all with us this afternoon. Also joining us this afternoon are college-wide administrators, Dr. Retha Cabinets, Director of Health Sciences, Tana Collins Allred, Director of Enrollment Management, Public Relations and Recruiting, Maurice Engel, Director of Career Technical Education, Andrew Brassfield, Multimedia Coordinator. He's in the back booth. Thank you for your presence this afternoon. Finally, to our graduates. We are honored that you chose Bevel State to be part of your educational journey. This afternoon, we celebrate your accomplishments, and Bevel State is proud to call you graduates. Let me say what an honor and privilege it is for me to be here this afternoon and to serve as your president of Bevel State Community College. Of course, this afternoon we gather to celebrate the accomplishments of the 2021 graduates of the FET campus of Bevel State Community College. It is a very special occasion given these unusual and unprecedented times and the perseverance you've displayed to be included in this number at this culminating event this afternoon. You should indeed be proud of your accomplishments. I'm positive that your studies have been both challenging and edifying, and I know you've worked hard to get to this moment. You have had people along your journey who have been both an encouragement and an inspiration, and I'm certain one such group is our wonderful Bevel State faculty and staff. So please join me at this time in thanking them for their role and contribution. I'm also certain that the support of family and friends have been important to you as you've worked so hard. I ask that we acknowledge these special people in your lives at this time. <laughs> Graduates, I'm confident that you now have the skills to continue along your chosen career pathway and to be successful. 
whether that's a transfer degree and you plan to continue, continue your studies at a four-year institution, or you're completing career technical studies or a nursing program, you are prepared. The words, future, made visible, are inscribed on our college's crest. I am confident that your pathway to future success has been illuminated and made visible during your time here at Bevel State Community College. I wish you nothing but the best and congratulations. This time I have the honor and privilege of presenting the Carl A. Elliott Senior Outstanding Student Award. Alabama native Carl Atwood Elliott Sr. served the 7th District of Alabama in the U.S. House of Representatives from 1948 to 1965. His work in Congress included two of the most influential pieces of educational legislation of the 20th century, the Library Services Act of 1956 and the National Defense Education Act of 1958. His authorship and sponsorship of these bills opened up literacy and educational opportunities for thousands of Americans. Elliott's lifetime of accomplishments were recognized in 1990 when he was the first recipient of the John F. Kennedy Profile and Courage Award for his forward thinking, his work for the good of the nation on issues such as civil rights and federally funded education in the, conservation, in the conservative climate of Alabama in the 1950s and 1960s. This award annually is given to the most outstanding student from Bevel State, which includes all of our campuses. In recognition for student academic achievement, service to the community, and concern for the welfare of others. Without further ado, it is indeed a pleasure for me to present the Carl Atwood Elliott Sr. Outstanding Student Award to Charles Dalton Files. It is my privilege to present the 2021 student speaker for this afternoon's ceremony. Melinda Hyman, also known as Lindy Hyman, is our speaker for tonight. While at Bevel State, Lindy has been an outstanding ambassador for two years, serving as president for the past year. She is a member of Phi Theta Kappa and serving as the vice president of service in that position. Lindy has been named to the president's and dean's list as well as receiving Bevel Scholars recognition at the college. One of her highest honors was being selected as the FET Campus All USA Academic Team nominee. She is transferring to the University of Alabama on a community college excellence scholarship. At the university, she plans to pursue a double major in communications and political science. Ladies and gentlemen, Lindy Hyman. Good afternoon, graduates, faculty, staff, family, and friends. I cannot express enough gratitude to those who felt I was worthy enough to speak for this momentous event. Thank you to all were a part of giving me this opportunity. Joy is the only word that I can think of to explain how happy I am to be standing here speaking to a room full of people, socially distanced of course, rather than to just a video camera. Graduates, through a hard fought battle, we finally made it. All the hours spent learning, studying, and experiencing will finally pay off. 
Whether you plan to transfer to another institution or join the workforce, take the experiences you have learned at Bevel State and use them to guide you through this next chapter of life. This past year has been a tough one for the entire world. We have all had obstacles to overcome. As a hands-on learner, it was very hard for me to transfer to online learning. Learning how to solve logarithmic equations through a Zoom meeting would not have been possible without the amazing instructors Bevel State had to offer. If one went back in time to 2018 and even mentioned Zoom University or Zoom classes in general, people would look at you like you were crazy. However, in times of COVID, it is a common phrase. We have persevered through some of the first hardships many of us will face, and we have done so together. Although we spent weeks at home by ourselves, we were not alone. The faculty, staff, and student body found alternative ways to teach, learn, and assist together. I know that my grade point average would look a lot different if it wasn't for the hardworking teachers who still taught despite all the odds against them. Many of the instructors who were not so technologically inclined learned to use Canvas for the first time. Thank you for trying to catch up with the 21st century. <laughs> the perseverance that was shown by the people of this institution gives me hope for the future. Hope that through all the bumps in the road, all of the hardships, and all of the new chapters, we can get through those situations like we have during this year. These last two years at Bevel State have given me the opportunity to meet new, many new people and collect so many different experiences. My time as an ambassador has been my most favorite experience. Being able to walk into student services and know the person that is sitting at the front desk is an aspect that I will miss next year. I've made some of the best friends from the two ambassador teams that I've been a part of, and those friendships will be cherished for the rest of my life. As an ambassador, I was able to meet and network with people from various schools and universities, as well as individuals from the workforce. Those people have provided me with letters of recommendations and references that have allowed me to be offered a full tuition scholarship to the University of Alabama. I, and my parents especially, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Although the story might not have been what I had pictured for my first two years of college, it unfolded exactly how it should have. I learned to adapt to big changes quickly, like two days quickly. I learned to work a very complicated office phone as part of my duties as an ambassador. Thank you, Cole Richards. And most importantly, I learned how to appreciate the unknowns of the future. We do not know what the future holds, but we know where it's about where we started. If you've not listened to a word I've said yet, listen to this. Take the story that you started at Bevel State and make it extraordinary. Because no matter how good or bad that story may have started, it's all about how the story ends. Thank you again for allowing me to speak to you all today. God bless and go Bears. my honor to present the following candidates for graduation with Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Associate in Applied Science, and Certificate. Candidates, please stand and proceed to the stage. Carly Nicole Lamb, Associate in Science, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Melinda Clara Heinemann, Associate in Science, Magna Cum Laude. Nakenzi Shatrish Knowles, Associate in Science, Cum Laude.
Amber Nicole Bobo, Certificate, Office Administration and Technology. Caitlin Elizabeth Brazier, Associate in Arts. Shakira Monet Brown, Certificate of Practical Nursing. Melinda Shea Brown, Certificate of Practical Nursing. Madison Claire Burns, Associate in Science. Megan Renee Carter, Certificate, Practical Nursing. Cindy Eileen Dixon, Associate Applied Science, Office Administration and Technology. Gracie Elena Dodd, Associate in Science, Summa Cum Laude. Okay, <laughs> sorry, uh, Charles uh, dropped his card, so we're going to do it. Charles Dalton Files, Associate in Applied Science. Computer Science. I hope I got that right, Charles. <laughs> Jacob Bradley Hall, Associate in Science. Brady Alexander Han. Associate in Applied Science, Electrical Systems Technology. Pearson Clay Herring, Associate in Applied Science, Electrical Systems Technology. Taylor Brooke Parker, Associate in Science. Tayana Chartrice Jackson, Certificate, Practical Nursing. Devin Leanne Jones, Associate in Science. Ryan Patrick Poole, Certificate, Welding Technology. Alexis Jakara Prude, Associate in Science. Tertiaria Milligan, Associate in Science. Edlicia Sherrod, Certificate, Practical Nursing. Blake Allen Shepard, Associate in Science, Cum Laude. Malak Sider, Associate in Science, Cum Laude. Okay. 
Angela B. Simpson, Associate in Science, Summa Cum Laude. Aiden M. Tucker, Short-Term Certificate, Welding Technology. Imani Monet Wofford, Certificate, Practical Nursing. Whitney Stallings, Certificate, Practical Nursing. Candidates, please stand. Dr. Haygood, the faculty and I are recommending for graduation from Bevel State Community College these candidates who have met all the requirements for their degree or certificate as prescribed by the Alabama Community College System and Board of Trustees. With the approval of the faculty and upon the certification of the chief academic officer that you have fulfilled all requirements for graduation and by the authority vested in me by the Alabama Community College System and Board of Trustees, I am pleased to confer upon you the appropriate degree or certificate with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present the 2021 graduates of Bevel State Community College. Congratulations. Please stand. Gentlemen, remove your caps and let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. I come to you at this time in prayer for thankfulness. Lord God, we ask for your almighty, almighty hand to be upon all of those who graduate today. Bless their lives from this day on with goodness and love. Help them to stay true to their dreams, to use their gifts wisely, and to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love. May this graduation day be a celebration of your life within us. We give you all the learning, the skills, and the hard work for these, for these years. We pour out our gifts into your hands. We may, hold, may we hold this memory in our heart as we continue on our adventure. Father, may we live a life that reveals your hope and be guided in everything we do by your everlasting truth. Dear Lord, watch over everyone here as they travel to the next destination. Just give them your traveling grace. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. <laughs> 